I went three days, three whole days with no food, no water. Yes, I said it, three days, no food and no water. What is up everybody kyla grace here and welcome or welcome back to another one of my videos y'all this is about my fifth time trying to record this video hopefully my camera do not overheat because i don't have time like it's so annoying but yeah i just wanted to share with y'all my story share with y'all my experience because for one for all the videos i've been looking through on youtube you really don't see too many young people first of all trying to see god and doing a fast second of all i haven't really seen too many people talk about the physical changes that your body go through while doing this fast so I got some notes in my phone and I basically just want to cover what was the purpose of my fast the physical changes that I experienced what did I do during this fast and what were some challenges that I experienced and my outcome and your girl is still very much well and alive <laughs> Um, but just to give y'all a little background, yeah, I did a three day dry fast. I did the Esther fast. And for those of you who do, who do not know what the Esther fast is, basically Esther, her cousin Mordecai and all of her people, the Jews, she fasted so she could save her people. So yeah, hopping right into the video, the whole purpose of me fasting was, y'all, I'm sick of my current situation. Lately, I've been feeling like, I know I'm alive. I know I wake up, I know I'm breathing, but I feel like that's about all I'm doing. I feel like, I'm living outside of myself. I feel like I'm not living in my true purpose. Um, it's it's like, I know there's more to my life, but what? Like, God, what is my next step? What is my purpose? I wanna, I wanna live, like I wanna be happy. Um, I wanna live within my true means, within my true character. And I just felt like I have not been doing that lately. Um, 2022 for me has been literally the most challenging year and so many adjustments and so many changes, but I'm just trying to remain humble and just kind of like move forward in a positive way. So yeah, that was the purpose of my fast. I just wanted to seek God. I felt like nothing else was working out. I felt lost. As each day went on, I just kind of felt more confused and lost and out of tune and out of touch with myself. and. I was just kind of over it. I'm like, God, um, I, I need answers. I, I, I need, I need, I need guidance. Like I want my path to be directed. Um, I just wanted a clear kind of answer, but I was actually going through YouTube and actually a week prior to me even starting my fast, I was kind of like weaning myself off food anyways, but as I was going through YouTube and I was looking at other people's testimonies and things like that, I came across this girl and as she was giving her testimony, she mentioned how, you know, she read through the book of Esther and she did her fast. Now, six years ago, probably back in like 2016, 17, six, seven years ago, it was prophesied to me to actually read the book of Esther. And it took until 2022 for me to actually sit down and read it. So that just kind of goes to show like okay god um is that you like everything just comes back to pass everything comes around full circle and so um i'm like okay um maybe i should go and sit down and read the book of esther but as i was reading it esther did a fast and all these other people when you like truly seeking answers and you seeking direction i seen how everybody was doing like the esther fast so that's that's exactly what i did basically i started my fast actually i don't want to tell y'all the wrong date but i started my fast friday September 16th at midnight and I just today the 19th Monday September 19th I don't know when y'all gonna see this video but yeah I just broke my fast September 19th at midnight excuse me yeah I broke my fast September 19th at midnight which is today and I gotta say like this has been probably the hardest the hardest thing that I could have possibly ever done but throughout it all it really taught me it taught me that I'm stronger than I give myself credit for. And it taught me that God is in control, no matter what. No matter what your current situation is, God is in control. And I have nothing to worry about. I'm not gonna lie, it's hard. I had, I got rid of, first of all, my Facebook. I kind of wanted to like get rid of my social media and truly just kind of focus on positive things and seeking God and prayer and things like that. So during this fast, like I wrote out, um, I just kind of sat over my life and thought, okay, Kyla, what do you want for your life? Where do you see yourself? 
um, like what's your goals and things like that basically. And yeah, so the first day going without food and water, it wasn't, the eating part for me wasn't as hard because I kind of had been like winding myself off of food um, the week prior. But I definitely on that first day, I noticed physical changes and my body was so tired. And I'm just thinking, okay, I'm only like a few hours and I'm only, it's what, afternoon. It ain't been that long in the day. We in the middle of the day and I got a full night worth of rest. So it's like, okay, what's going on? And then I put two and two together. Oh, you're not, you didn't drink anything today. You're not eating. Um, that's probably why you feel so tired. And I'm like, okay, God, okay, we, we coming in strong. So I, I see how this is going to be, but y'all so, so tired so I felt sl sluggish um very lethargic I felt very drowsy like no energy whatsoever I spent a lot of my first day in bed resting just kind of laying down now while me laying down some you know it's just a given for us to just kind of scroll through social media see what's going on but then it was kind of nice like I logged out of Facebook and every time I would click on the app which I'm still logged out of but like every time I would click on the app I'm logged out so it was kind of reminder like oh yeah maybe instead of scrolling on social media how about you go read a devotional how about you go like do something towards your hobby or something do something positive and that's what I did y'all I did a lot of I played the piano in my free time occasionally so I did a lot of like trying to learn some songs I'll actually insert some clips <laughs> But y'all, I did a lot of trying to like, just do positive things, learn a song on the piano, start a new book. So yeah, I will pull up devotionals on my phone. Um, just try to do a lot of reading, a lot of praying. Now I'm not gonna lie. The first day it was okay. It was kind of easy getting through to no drinking and no eating. That does not mean I did not have urges at certain points throughout the day. It's a, it's a huge change when you're used to eating and drinking on a regular basis to now nothing. So yeah, I really tried to spend my time reading my Bible, doing some devotionals, playing the piano, just something positive to where I'm not, my mind is not on food or anything like that. Which brings me to the point, be careful who you choose to spend your time around, especially when you fasting. You wanna surround yourself with people that's gonna respect what you're doing. Um, they ain't gotta necessarily understand it, but to respect what you're doing, obviously you are doing this for a greater cause. If you're not eating or drinking, you don't wanna go around somebody that's eating and drinking around you because that's just gonna lead to nothing but temptation. And you know, that's, that's not what we need in this moment. That's not what we need during this fast. So just keep that in mind. Another thing that I kind of regret too, like going into this fast, don't tell too many people you fasting. Okay, so I did pull up the scripture and I am reading for the New International Version, but Matthew um, chapter six, verses 16 through 18, it says, when you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full, but when you fast, Put oil on your head and wash your face so, so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your father who is unseen and your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Um, but the reason why I say just be kind of careful on who you tell who you're fasting to because not everybody is going to get it. And it is really some physical changes and you don't want to make your fast about like complaining about how hard it is and things like that because it kind of defeats the purpose but yeah moving on to day two y'all I started to feel physically sick not only is my weight dropping but I noticed like I had a slight headache and I, I was I was not like feeling myself at all very sleepy very sluggish like when I say I couldn't even take a few steps without feeling like <sighs> just out of breath like it was really that hard um but I just tried to you know kind of remain and do the same thing like okay God you're gonna get me through this you're gonna get me through this um let me just pray to you God I need I need you right now because it's getting hard and on day two also I got like I was really really thirsty I was more thirsty than I was hungry it was just the most challenging thing and I'm like okay God like I felt like I felt like my stomach kind of caving in my lips became super super dry on day two 
not only that i will insert some pictures but um i noticed by like midday of that second day so what is that the 17th y'all throat parched okay like super thirsty um the hunger was kind of there but it's like i can kind of get through the hunger now it was some moments like you know your mama popping some popcorn in the kitchen or something and them smells it's just like uh, i'm hungry but y'all i knew i was stronger than i actually was because i actually cooked for people i've went inside the grocery store many many times during my fast and i really wasn't that tempted um don't get me wrong now it was a few like little urges here and there but for the most part like i was really okay if anything i was really really thirsty really thirsty to the point where it was just causing me headaches the body fatigue uh, was out of this world the body fatigue was something serious but another thing just laying down trying to get rest trying to pray and just kind of remembering what you even doing this fast for because i'm telling you as them hours and days and things like that go on i don't want to say you forget what you fasting for but you do you do kind of say uh okay let me just eat something it ain't gonna hurt but no i'm telling you pray seek god and he will get you through it okay he will he will get you through it he got me through it one of the things that was really challenging for me during this fast was it's like all right I done played the piano. I done read a devotional. I done prayed. Now what? Like, obviously, we don't do those things for like 24 hours straight. But that's where the challenge came in. Like, after you done did those things, then what? Like, do you just fall asleep? And for me, that was a challenge because it was in the midst of kind of like in the midst of my pause, in the midst of me not reading or not doing a hobby. It was like, okay my mind was kind of like redirecting and focusing back on food and I didn't want that to happen and so I say beforehand what I should have did was like if I could redo the whole fast I want to map out strategically like okay here are videos I can watch in my free time here's what I can learn how to play here's a book that I can learn how to read I even try to go for a walk but guys bad mistake because you really want to save all the little energy you do got and it was it was just really hard but i i did get through the night now i do want to say when it got to like 11 30 p.m on that second day i'm like god i really went to god i'm like god y'all i was just so close to giving in and eating something like i i got so hungry um and really thirsty but i'm like okay god before i before i want before i just go and eat and just kind of like whatever with the fast i went to god and i pray about it because I just wasn't feeling good. I was just trying to lay down. But the way them headaches was feeling, the way my body just felt like so out of place, um, I really needed water. Like I really needed water. So I went to God and I prayed and I'm like, God, if it's your will, like, can I just, can I have a sip of water? Can I have something to drink? I had not even a half of water bottle. So I drank, but it wasn't even half a water bottle, but I did drink something on that second night because I just felt like I couldn't do it. And not to mention throughout this fast, even the days leading up to me fasting, um, I was I dropped so much weight. Like like right now my current weight check-in is 197 pounds. And the start of my journey, I was at about 212. Like I kid y'all not. So I have been dropping the weight. I'm not saying to starve yourself um or anything like that for weight loss, because this whole fast wasn't even about weight loss it was really about just seeking god and kind of determining a purpose for my life and things like that but on that second day um the headaches were real y'all um the body fatigue was real i literally felt like i couldn't even shower i try to wash my hair just like putting my arms up and any type of physical activity or emotion it just drained me my fingers became really jittery and also on that second day i noticed my skin started to peel like i said this is coming from somebody who drank water on the regular y'all i'm gonna insert some pictures but my skin started to like flake off and peel and it was just yeah it was just ugly not only that but when i did shower um y'all know how y'all be in the shower too long or underwater your your hands and skin become really wrinkly yeah that's what was happening to me i wasn't even in the shower too long for my fingers to start becoming real crinkly so that's another thing that i don't really hear too many people talking about my skin started to flake off really really bad um it's actually still flaking off but 
yeah, that's something you want to be aware of or have knowledge on prior to kind of going into this fast. So you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. But again, um, I wasn't really focused on that because I know God got me at the end of the day. Um, I was just like really praying for God's strength. I needed strength to get through this and it, it's it's truly nothing but God that got me through this. Um, yeah, so I drank my water at 11.30 p.m. Not even half of a water bottle, y'all. Like the average 16.9 fluid ounce bottle, I drank less than half of that. Third day, I actually woke up feeling really good like I had it's like I had a little burst of energy and I'm like okay God like okay I can, I can do this I just felt like all I needed was that sip from the second night in order to complete the duration of my fast like I felt like as long as I just got that one sip of water I'm like God I can I I can do this I can make it I just need a sip of water and so I actually woke up on that third day feeling so revitalized I felt rejuvenated I felt real good like I felt real good well like I was happy I was cheery but y'all that all died down real quick and it was like okay girl slow your roll um save that little bit of energy so yeah my energy kind of did die back down a little bit body's extremely tired was still feeling a little bit sick but at this point, um, I'm like, okay, you got less than 24 hours left. You got this girl, you got this. But it became to a point where the days started to feel so long. And I started to focus on like, I was basically counting down like, okay, what, what time is it? What day is it? Like, I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to drink. Um, I'm ready to go out or something. But I did not want my fast to be in vain. You know, I didn't want, like, I knew it was a purpose behind this. And I'm like, okay, Kyla, if you're going to do it, do it. You know, we always got access to food and things like that. And it's not too often we try to seek God and fast with no food or no water. So I was really just trying to make the most out of my fast. It was some times where I got very, very agitated, like just getting irritated. Basically, I was hangry, but I tried to remind myself the reason I was doing this fast and the purpose behind it all and that um this won't last forever you know things like that I just constantly had to remind myself like Kyla don't focus on eating or drinking because that'll eventually come use this time to really focus on the purpose of you even fast and use this time to focus on God and try seek him and put him first and just try to pray when you feel in that urgency to want to drink something or eat something use that time to pray and you know just do something good I actually went to the grocery store like a um the day before my fast so I went to the grocery store probably like around three o'clock that afternoon and I was breaking my fast at midnight you know coming into the new day and I was all this time I was just thinking like man I'm so hungry like I was having cravings upon cravings I was like y'all when I break my fast I'm gonna go get me a seafood boil then I was like no let me go get me a buffalo chicken wrap from B-Dubs like I had all of these things that I wanted to eat that I thought I wanted to eat because I was just so hungry I had all these thoughts and cravings and plans of what I was gonna do but then I thought like okay there is a proper way to break a fast and um I mean I was very anticipated on breaking this fast but I wanted to do things decently in order. Um, so I just thought about it like, okay, probably a seafood boil isn't the right thing to do while trying to break a fast. But I, what I did was I went to the grocery store and it's hard going to the grocery store while you fasting. But I went to the grocery store, y'all, and I got me two large avocados and I got me some mangoes, some spicy mango salsa dip. And um, that's basically what I ate to break my fast. When it came closer towards midnight, I was just sitting there like, all right, I'm not gonna lie. Like I was kind of over reading. I was over like playing the piano. I'm like, I'm just ready to eat. I'm just ready to eat. But meanwhile, I'm still trying to remain focused now and, and trying to like put that off in the back of my head like okay Kyla don't focus on the food don't focus on drinking um but I was just tired I'm like okay I'm literally counting down the clock like <sighs> I'm done I'm tired but y'all um I put it on a movie I put it on um for the passion of the Christ and I actually kind of fell asleep on the last the ending of it but by the time the movie finished it was about 11 30 p.m so um 
I woke up a little after midnight and I'm like, wow, is it is it really the end? Like, is this the end of my fast? Wow, did I really make it this far? And I did. Um, it was actually kind of like a bittersweet moment because for one, I didn't think um, I didn't think I could do it. Like going three days without food or water, it was it was definitely a challenge, but I did it through the grace of God and when I was able to take that first drink, like without me being on a fast, surprisingly, I didn't like down the whole bottle of water. I didn't like stuff my face with food. Um, I mashed up my avocado, mixed it in with my salsa and kind of like made a dip, had a few, literally less than a handful of grapes. And I didn't eat as much as I thought I would. Um, I was actually really full. And in fact, after I did eat, I kind of, I slightly felt like sick I felt extremely full and I'm telling you only had about five grapes and about um four dips of my salsa like I was just that full and so it just made me think like okay during the fast I thought about everything I could eat seafood boil this that and whole time I didn't do any of that I didn't need any of that and it just kind of made me realize my emotional attachment to food. And I do not have to depend on these things for happiness or comfort. Because it's really God that's in control. So as I'm recording this video right now, it's actually 1.35. So it's like a little over 12 hours since my fast has ended. And as far as what I've been eating, um, I don't have like this complete urge to just want to dive into food. I ate a little bit more of my little guacamole dip with my salsa. I had a small piece of summer sausage. And then not too long ago, I ate like three boneless bites of uh, buffalo chicken. That's literally about it. Um, I did notice I was like really craving today. I was really craving something spicy, something buffalo. But um, I'm not as hungry as you would think as somebody that's coming off three days with no food or water. I'm not as thirsty as I thought I would be. I'm actually okay. And so this whole fast, it just taught me like, wow, God is there, God is listening and he will get you through everything. And so I'm truly grateful for my fast. Um, I feel encouraged to want to do better. I feel encouraged to kind of take control of my life and that you don't have to be sad. You don't have to have it all figured out because God created me. God made me and um, he know what I need. And why am I trying to figure out something that's already figured out? Like my life is already written in God's name and Jesus's name. So there's literally nothing for me to worry about. And so during this time, I just kind of want to reflect and just thank God and everything will be okay so if it's anything i gained from this fast is trust god with your life trust god with your decisions and to be grateful for the little things like food and water because it's people out there that don't have those things or don't have easy access to those things and for me this was a choice it's some people that really don't have the option to just go out and eat or or have access to food or water like that so it just made me want to be grateful it definitely humbled me and i don't want to abuse food anymore i don't want to use food as an emotional attachment hopefully this video wasn't too all over the place um but regardless I really hope this video touches somebody. Um, if you are going through something, if you need a breakthrough in your life, seek God, trust in God, put him first, and he shall direct your path. And I hope to see y'all all in my next video.